I have come with something which I have never done before. Hi my dear kids, how are you doing? This is Dr. Vani on behalf of the most amazing bio channel ever, Vedantu Biotonic. And on today, much, much, much public demand ke baad, I have come with something which I have never done before. I am going to show you my trade secret which is going to help you to make the most amazing notes ever. So from today onwards, all your problems and everything is going to get over because I am going to take you in my personal area and show you how to make the most amazing, the most comprehensive and the best notes ever for any NEET exam 2020, 2021 or 2022. So come on, what's the wait? Follow me. So as you know, time and tide wait for none. My dear children, the most important resource that we have right now is your time. So you see carefully, I have an amazing diary with me. What does the diary say? Day wise time, today's top three tasks because only three tasks can be accomplished in a day. The other tasks which you are planning to do here, to do for the entire week and a habit tracker. If you have started to eat the frog, that should come here. You don't know the power of positive reinforcement. Your top three achievements here, week after week. What did you learn this week? Is there a positive habit that you picked up? So a diary like this and also like I always say, what are you grateful for this week? If you are grateful for something, that will really help you. So you see, this is how you make a diary. I want you to focus on top three tasks per day, other secondary tasks. I want you to focus on the to do for the week, the three achievements of the week, your learnings this week, your grateful heart and a habit tracker. Make something like this and then I'm going to move ahead and show you how to fill it day by day. Focusing on that my dear kids, we will start with, let me see that today I want to do respiration as a topic or some of you in 2022 would want to do genetics as the topic today. So because you want to do respiration or genetics, I want you to write this down on day one. You can write three tasks like this. Let us say you want to do electrostatics in physics and you also want to do a little bit of general organic chemistry, specifically write down the topics. What in GOC would you want to do? How many questions would you want to do in current electricity or electrostatics? Do you want to do respiration or genetics? This is the first step. You have to be armed with all these things. This is your ammunition to fire, multicolored pens, your post-its and a very good copy. So on a good copy, I'm going to be teaching you how do you make notes now. So a good copy, a diary, your post-its, a good copy, I repeat, your diary where you've written down the syllabus, post-its and multicolored pen. So what are we waiting for? Let's get it started. But before we even start, my dear children, stay true to be biotonic. I would really indulge you to have something positive and nice as a good motivator and a reinforcer on your table. I always keep a beautiful book next to me where I can always flip the pages and read a motivational quote. Like it says, it is the province of knowledge to speak and it is a privilege of wisdom to listen. Probably whenever I feel, see this is so beautiful which has randomly come. I'm in the world to change the world. So what I was trying to tell you is, you must begin your day with a little bit of positivity. Let's get started. So my dear children, if you look carefully on the front and if you come towards the back and you see carefully as to what I'm doing, your lectures should always begin with listening to what Wani Ma'am is saying in the lecture. I'm talking about the history of photosynthesis. If you enter the same thing in your NCRTs, you will see Stephen Hills, Joseph Priestley, Jan Ingenhouse, just taking that for an example exactly here. See Joseph Priestley. So whatever I find there in the textbook, I have marked exactly the same things. After Joseph Priestley, we are able to see Jan Ingenhaus. So we have Jan Ingenhaus, we have Joseph Priestley, everything marked. Whatever ma'am is saying and all the extra information that ma'am gives comes very 
very nicely as the extra information in your NCRT. You can do this in two ways. You can either read for the class and come. That is always better. And then you can always underline and make diagrams and charts like this because you know that the diagrams are very important. Underline whatever ma'am is saying. Write down the extra information which ma'am is saying on your textbooks like this. It becomes very, very important. So these are your notes on your NCRTs, which is one way of making your notes. Let me also tell you the various other forms of making your notes. So children, here I am back again teaching you another method of making notes. So you know that here on our channel V Biotonic, we teach you everything which is required to make excellent quality notes. So if you come and look here, you must have seen that I have taken so many classes of genetics. See how mutation, linkage, recombination, pleiotropy, Mendel, blood group, sex determination, everything has been written. And see here. You can use multicolored pens later on. If you've seen, I have used a pen to underline whatever are the extra things which I have written. So you can take a paper, pen and you can write down things. Later on in your revision cycle, you can underline, you can highlight. The more colorful your notes are, the better it is for you to revise. These are extremely exhaustive. Now see, sometimes some of you want to write some tricks here, right? Like I've written kisi ke saath bhi chipak jata hai. See, something so simple. So it helps you to attach. Numbering is very important. See, I've also done numbering. What will the numbering do? I have made my own index. If you see, see this. Just focus on the entire index which I've made. For only cell mitosis conjugation, everything I've made index completely. So once you are immediately in a need to do something quickly, you will be able to revise it. See now, sex determination in humans, Drosophila melanogaster, and sometimes some books of yours have really detailed mock test papers, some extra notes about earthworms. So I also make notes like this. Where and see later on, sometimes you might find some book. I get Xeroxes done, leading strand, lagging strand diagrams, which are very, very nicely given in some books. So I often put the pages of these books. I get Xeroxes of them. I put the pages of these books on my notes. Makes note taking, note making so much more easier. It might also happen that while doing reading from multiple books. Later on, you might get extra information which is over and above what you've done. So you can on white pages make notes later on which are colorful with all the formulas written and then keep them in your main notes, right? See, everything can be written like this. Star marks can be used for you to emphasize on what is important. Page numbers to be written at everything so that you know what is important and what is not. So my dear children, two types of note making are all due. In the first time, I would refer to the NCRT. In the second one, I made handwritten notes of each and everything on my copy. Sometimes you have to refer extra books. Last week, I did a special video with you on types of books where I referred a type of book called Truman Elementary. Now, if you come closer and if you look here, especially topics like physiology, which are extra and important, don't feel shy in dirtying your book. See, so all the things which are important need to be highlighted. The graph is very important. Double circulation is very important. The percentages are very important. Bore effect is very important, right? The percentages here. So don't feel bad in underlining, putting star marks on your books. Special focus on the topics which are very, very important from the books which are referred by your teacher, not every book. And don't be shy, see how nicely, wherever this, I did not like it so much from here, I've written it from some other book. But the points which are beautifully given and important, I have emphasized on each one of them. In the end of your book, you will also come across some tips like these. This additional information is very important and the questions which are repeated from this additional information, you must include in your copy notes. I think that's more than enough about note making. So my dear children, as we're all set to summarize this, you saw I started with something which is motivational, very important. I made a daily timetable on a diary, very, very important to maintain a regular diary or a timetable. I told you how to make your own notes 
on a nice paper copy on your own with your own things i told you what is required to make really good notes this is like the basic raw material i told you which books to refer and how to make notes in the books and i also mentioned in detail about ncrt i think from now onwards you will have absolutely no problem to make notes and it will be a delight for you to make notes do leave behind a comment section do make sure that you like share and subscribe to our channel so that we also get the glucose back to make more notes and to inspire you my dear kids also my dear kids do share a photograph of your notes on my telegram page or vedanta_biotonic most importantly happy note making bye